I don't want to do this. So we found something else that you don't want to buy at Dollar Tree. Can openers. So that goes on the list with batteries, hair dye, pregnancy tests, can opener. Yeah, but the fact that you bought that from the dollar store meant we almost didn't have to eat canned bacon. Canned bacon. Welcome to Keto Camping Fear Factor, episode 11. This is the Keys style. And this is gonna be a special one because I only have a couple things. We stopped at a restaurant and we got some food that we have never eaten before and we're going to make that part of our Fear Factor. Ignore the music, we're sitting at this really cool restaurant called Porky's. It's located here in Marathon, it's right on the water. And number one, are you ready? Raw oysters. Oh. Rachel has never had a raw oyster. I've never had that. So, here we go. Oh. We're, we're gonna do a little bit of lime on here. How do you eat it? You gonna dink it? We're gonna dink it. You wanna make sure you got your little He's thing. Disconnected. Disconnect him. Let us know down in the comment section, have you ever had raw oysters? Because this is definitely, Hey, you know what? This is keto, right? Oh. You can absolutely eat these oysters. And now, you know, zombie apocalypse, run out into the water and find some oysters. Here we go. Think. I mean, it's just the mouthfeel. Yeah, kind of like lot. eating snot, but <laughs> the lime on it, absolutely perfect. Helps. Would you eat those again? Yeah, and I mean. We do have five more of them. Well, we're gonna have to. So, and they're on sale here for just a dollar a piece, which is just awesome. So we got back from the restaurant. Mm -hmm. We had, for the first time, the oysters, the yep. raw oysters. They were actually pretty good. They were really good, and I think part of that is because they're fresh. <laughs> Not like what we're about to try. Don't eat non-fresh oysters. No. So we got back and Joe was like, you know, we're not done yet. That was just one. We've gotta have two more Fear Factor things. And these are not going to be freshly catched and prepared seaside. Yeah, so we're, we've got to leave today. But yeah, we have to do Keto Camping Fear Factor. We haven't done one in a while since December. So we do have more seafood, though. I've got a Zevia because I think this is going to need some washing down. Thanks, Barb and <laughs> Russ and Logan, our friends, who sent us a surimi, which is baby eels in olive oil. Can't wait to try this. And then we got canned bacon. And not just one can, not just two cans, but we've got three, three cans. cans of canned bacon. So this is kind yeah. of yeah, like. You, oh, you have to actually refrigerate it after you open it. I would hope, unless you want to die. <laughs> but this is kind of like what we had last night. We had seafood and we had barbecue, and now yeah. we're gonna have seafood and barbecue. Okay, I, I've got high hopes for the bacon. I, I probably shouldn't have high hopes for a bacon, but. I'm going to save that for last because maybe it won't taste as bad as has, this. Has Yoder's ever steered us wrong? Okay, so this is surimi, or surimi, white meat fish. From Iberia. Water, vegetable oil, white of an egg extract. What? Extract of algae, natural flavor eels, vegetable protein. There's nothing natural about this. Ooh. Vegetable protein, pepper, glutamate, cephalopods. Natural ink. We're just gonna slide Olive that in. oil, red pe chili pepper, and garlic. Oh yeah, there's cephalopods in there. By the way, the keys are nice, but they're natty. It's, there's like lots of bugs. There's lots if of bugs. If there's no wind, it's really natty. If yeah. there's wind, you're perfect. You're thinking this is amazing, but all this wind, but like the, the wind is your friend. Okay, so there's two servings in this container, 92 calories per serving, five grams of fat, three grams of protein, ooh. Nine total carbohydrates. Wow. So. This would be a last. I guess the cephalopods. I don't know. I'm, I don't see what is in here that's creating all of those I do carbs. know that if you eat scallops, scallops are a seafood, but I think they're higher. We're going to eat it anyway, although I would never eat this on keto. Well, if you're in a zombie apocalypse. Uh, oh, no. Are you serious? We got to jab it. 
We gotta but try to make it. This thing is broken. We gotta try to jab it. You can't turn it. It's it's broken. Okay. So this is how I opened up the. You're just cutting it like scissors. Yeah, pretty much. Aw, I like your ingenuity though. You do. Yeah, I like your no quit attitude. I, I, I really want to quit on this one. There's goo just like coming up to the top with I, every I, sip. I really want to just throw up right now. Oh, oh yeah. It's very oily, but I kind of thought it would be. Ooh, does it have a smell yet? I, I'm, I'm not really trying to. It does. It does. I'm waiting for it to eclipse ocean because there is a smell out here. It's a delightful smell. And I'm hoping that this isn't gonna be like that low tide smell. Yeah, because if we didn't tell you, we are curry, we are currently, currently at Curry Hammock State Park in Marathon in the Keys. This was an awesome, ugh. oh wow. This was an awesome campground. What are those two? If you, chili peppers. Okay. If you're ever looking for a great place to go camping, either with a tent or RV, this place is amazing. And it cheap. does take a long time to get in. It's only $30 a night to camp here with full hookup. Or no, not full hookup. There's no sewer. But uh, yeah, we're sitting right on the water. It's absolutely awesome. You can't get that here. Oh my gosh. I'm going to totally pretend that these are zucchini spirals. Oh, I only brought one fork. So oh. first, first taste is on you. Uh. And then I'll decide if I'm going to eat this. I'm going to register no emotion. It's not terrible. Mm. It tastes like very cheap Spaghetti? pasta. Yeah. Like super, super cheap pasta. It, it, it actually, it's got, it's got the texture of overcooked spaghetti. Yeah. So honestly, it's not the worst thing we've ever it's eaten. It's too oily for me. It's oily. I don't mind the oiliness because I like stuff oily. And like I said, it, it just tastes like overcooked noodles that have been dusted with like a fish sauce. like fish seasoning. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. In a zombie apocalypse. In a zombie apocalypse, I would, I would eat, eat it. it. But I would eat it. Honestly, I, you know, it's a little bit too many carbs for me. But, Ugh. And it's okay. It's like we the, ate it. The it's, seafood it's, has been pumped it's, in. It's definitely not as bad as a lot of the stuff we've had. You have to go someplace else in your brain though when you're thinking about things like eels. You have to go someplace else. Like I had to go to <laughs> Zucchini Land. Oh, oh, this your bacon? This is the bacon. It's in a paper. What is happening right now? Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, okay. Here we go. All right. Oh! And that's how you pack a can of bacon. And and that is why every piece of clothing I own has got, got oil stains mark. on it. Yep. What? This this company packs like my mother going on a vacation. Oh wow, there's a lot of bacon there in here. There is a crap ton of bacon in here, yo. Holy wow. Wow. Like I am impressed. I mean, okay. I am We have impressed. a plate here. Let's see. If it tastes as Two, good. Four, six, and it's eight, like cooked. 10, 12, 14. Like I'm super impressed. I don't know how much this stuff costs. Wow. That oh my gosh. There's three Another 28. sheets. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Freaking breakfast is served, yo. Look at that. That's all the bacon. It's actually, it, it's cooked the way I like it. You know, maybe if you stuck this in the microwave. Oh, I'm so greasy now. Oh my gosh. Okay. Lots of grease. Yeah. Lots of grease. But I'm sure it's bacon grease. So a serving size is three slices. There are 18 <laughs> servings in this can, which it's wow. amazing that they fit this much bacon in here. That's incredible. But you're talking about there's almost 60 slices of bacon in here. In a can. There's 60 calories per serving, five grams of fat, five grams of protein, zero total carbohydrates. The ingredients are pork, water, salt, sugar, which there's sugar in most bacon, smoke Curing flavoring, it. sodium phosphate, sodium erythrobate, and sodium nitrate. So, yeah, I, I'm. You know what? I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna be the test of time, and we're gonna eat two pieces. Okay. Smells like bacon. It just absolutely smells like bacon. It doesn't smell like bad bacon. Doesn't two smell. Pieces. I mean, it just doesn't smell bad. Well, You've got a little grease on you. I've there. got grease everywhere. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, wait, dink it. Oh. It's chewy bacon. We absolutely. 
just found a camping take along food. This is awesome. This stuff's amazing. This stuff is freaking awesome. I am I am glad we did Fear Factor just for this. Did you know this existed? No. I d had no idea. Wow. It was dumb. Now. Talk about meal prep. I mean, it's a little greasy. I want to go put some in the microwave and see if it, what happens to it. Yeah, I feel like the microwave would really crisp it up. But I mean, it's done. But it's cooked. It's completely cooked. It depends on, if you like your bacon, like, not like burnt like I like my bacon like let us know down in the comment section how do you like your bacon do you want it chewy or do you want it crispy I want it crispy to just below the burnt taste yeah. what about you how do you like it kind of, like I want same. you to be able to snap it in half I feel like this is giving you like your best go like it's it's cooked it but if you want to add a little bit more heat to it and crisp it up just a little bit more you can but you know if you are not somebody that likes this super crispy or burnt and they and they give it to you, Bert. Like you can't go back. It reminds me of like all of the pre-cooked bacon that you would buy when you go to the yeah. grocery store, or even like you ever go to like Subway or one of those places mm -hmm. that has the bacon, and they're like, "Oh, I want bacon on my sub." This is what they're putting on there. I am it's blown not, away. But this is really good. Like I'm super super impressed by that. Me too. So well, that's gonna be this episode of Keto Camping what a find. Fear Factor. Um, now again. If you find any kind of keto-friendly, shelf-stable food, okay, it's got to be shelf-stable because you will do non-shelf-stable. But don't like send frog us raw, legs. But don't send us raw oysters. But yeah, it's you. If you're gonna mail it to us, it's got to be shelf-stable because we got to be able to bring it camping and stuff. But if you can come up with something that's not shelf-stable that you think we can find, like frog legs. Um, then we will absolutely do that on Keto Camping Fear Factor as well. So just let us know down below. And if you have anything, you can send it to the address that's down below in the description. And anything you send us... We gotta eat it. If you like seeing videos like this, there are 10 other Keto Camping Fear Factors, which I'm gonna link right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we find bacon in a can, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.